Hello Sagittarius. This is going to be your November 2019 reading. What's going to start in November for you? Your energies. And if you like those energies, you embrace them. If you don't like the energies, come in, take a detour or stop it. Or, you know, try to deal with it in some other manner. But let me call it. That was the two of wands that fell out making decisions. But I need a reading for Sagittarius, a positive reading. Hopefully a positive reading with new energies coming in for Sagittarius, summoning and rising for the collective of Sagittarius. This would be the full Celtic cross for Sagittarius. I need a positive energy to come in. You see with the beginning energy, you know this may not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You're thinking something's going too slow, possibly. You also could be dealing with a, um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, that is not, you know, being very practical, or you feel that they're not being practical. Current environment is the Eight of Wands. Something quick may come in, or it's communications, or you may travel with the Eight of Wands. What's crossing it is the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe some of you don't have enough finances. Maybe you feel like you don't want to do this or talk to them. Or maybe you're trying to change something for the positive with the Wheel of Fortune. What is crowning you is justice in reverse. You're feeling like an injustice was done to you. Foundation, the magician in reverse. Hmm, That's manipulations, maybe a trickster card. And you know I'm going to clarify these. And once I start clarifying it, it will change the story up. In the past, you felt like someone betrayed you, but you're come, you're getting over it um, in some way. You feel, but it, I feel it has to do with, like I said, manipulations and the justice in reverse. So someone did you wrong. You feel, or for for a few of you, you might have done somebody wrong. In the very near future, the hangman in reverse. You're really tired of just hanging around, waiting for situations to get better. You're not going to just take it on the chin, you know. You're going to go forward with something. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Is, it may be saying um, with the hermit to think about things before you react. And I will clarify. What is coming towards you is a tower situation, Sagittarius. Yeah, I think you're going to get a message from someone in the outside. Because that's... This is beyond your control. You have control what you do in your life, but this is the outside environment. You may hear of a tower situation. Your hopes and fears is the king of rods in reverse. This could be you. You may think it may put you out and may hurt you in some way. This tower situation, this manipulation, this injustice. And maybe this injustice has got you aggravated with the King of Rods in reverse. King of Rods could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. As you know, I do not assign one zodiac sign to the court cards. In the end, you do gain. You get gain and in independence. Okay? Now, I'm going to take this other deck, and I do pre-shuffle these decks. But, you know, because I, I meditate on them. Because I want as many energies as I can, or strong energies I can, while I do these readings on the video. So these are the clarifying cards for Sagittarius for November 2019. Now I do see some manipulation, some betrayals going on, injustice, and the tower coming towards you. But in the end, it, it works out, okay? You're gonna hear a message, and maybe you feel like the message is unfortunate now that we see the tower and all. So let's find out what's going on. So the Eight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune crossing it. Why are you there? For Sagittarius, what's going on? I need two cards, please. And I'll do a love reading at the very end. Yeah, the Hermit in reverse. It's going to force you out of a situation. Um, I feel that whatever you're going to hear is going to maybe interrupt your schedule, your life in some way. And you're not going to be happy about it because you like being comfortable, some of you. Some of you like where you're at right now. And you may feel like you're being forced out of a situation to uh, react. Now what is crowning you is the justice in reverse. And I need two cards for that for Sagittarius. The justice in reverse. 
may have to move up this camera. I don't know if I get it all in there. Justice in reverse, two cards for Sagittarius. You're trying to regain a victory over injust an injustice. Something that was against you, you may, you, you're attempting to gain a victory and you may put up your boundaries, your swords on somebody and, and block somebody, you know, also because of an injustice. Two of swords is wanting peace. Sometimes it's about not wanting to see the negativity also. Let's go to the foundation and find out why the trickster card is there. Manipulation of the highest form. So the Magician in reverse. I need two cards for Sagittarius. Two cards. Yeah, you're hearing about a message. Someone's going to get really defensive possibly because, and I say this even with the Seven of Wands and the upright defensiveness and getting on top of things. You may be getting on top of things and sending a message to the Magician. That's one of the things saying, you know, stop this. You're not doing this anymore. And you may have to stand up for yourself with the seven of wands. It also could be that the magician in reverse gets a little defensive with a message that, you know, they've received or that they may send one. Just tells me that it has to do with a message for sure, that someone doesn't like what they hear. In the past, you got the ten of swords in reverse. Betrayals. But it is in reverse, so maybe you're trying to come out of a betrayal situation. So the Ten of Swords in reverse while you're there. For Sagittarius in the past while you're there. Yeah, someone may have messed you over when it, came, when it comes to money. With your overall stability. And you may have to cut somebody out with the Page of Swords. For some of you, you can be dealing with the Air Sign Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or someone young at heart, or someone younger. But someone really cost you in some way your overall stability. In your future, you're not standing around for it. You're not waiting for it. You're not dealing with it the way somebody else may want to. Maybe you were waiting at one time or somebody else around you was. So the hangman in reverse while you're there for Sagittarius. Why are you there in the near future? Ace of Pentacles, someone may present you an offer even though your, um, your strength is zapped. Even though your strength is zapped, you're going to come out of this stagnation. You may make someone an offer or someone may make you an offer with the Ace of Pentacles. Something solid, something that lasts a while. But also, you are very exhausted over something with the strength card in reverse, and you're trying to overcome, you know, that energy. Maybe some of you were even feeling a little under the weather, you know, at one time. Now, possible future outcome advice from the universe, and I think it's advice from the universe, but it's the hermit in the upright. Maybe it's saying, really think about things before you react towards a tower situation or the magician. So you can gain this victory. And I do see you gaining in the end. But we got to find out what the, why the hermit is there. So the hermit in the upright. Why are you there? As advice from the universe or possible future outcome. Why are you there? I need two cards for Sagittarius. Hangman in, in reverse again. And walking away. It's okay to come out of stagnation and walk away. But don't let everybody know your thoughts and feelings. Okay? That's what it's saying. Yeah, you, you can walk away from a negative situation. Um, you don't have to wait around for it. But, you know, keep your thoughts to yourself. Sometimes it's good to keep your thoughts to yourself so people don't use it against you later. The outside environment, you got the tower. The tower in the upright. So it's either coming towards you, it's happened to somebody else, and you're seeing this. The tower could be so many things. It's something unexpected. Something that leaves a situation changed altogether. So the tower in the upright, why are you there? For Sagittarius, what's going on? Two cards, please. Hope you can see all this in the screen. Ooh, Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. Maybe dealing with a couple of people. I don't think it's you that's actually having this tower, but it, you're gonna, it's going to affect you in some way with a message. 
coming from the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords isn't happy because she's in reverse. He or she, you know. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But also the Queen of Cups is there in the upright. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I'm thinking you're going to hear about a couple people. It could be family, lovers. It don't matter. Work. And they're going to tell you something. One of them, <clears throat> one of these people are going to be really put out by whatever is going to happen. This change. But the other person is more calm and, and has got themselves together. And they're going to be talking to you about this tower situation. Let me get another card for that. It's just not telling me much. But the, who the people involved are. Let me see if I can get one more card. Sometimes it's because it's so different for everybody. <clears throat> So the tower in the upright, queen of swords in reverse, queen of cups in the upright. I need one more card for the outside environment. So whatever is happening, these people are involved. It, someone gets in an argument. Someone gets in a bad argument. Maybe these two get in a bad argument and one's really put out and one is not. And you're going to hear about it and they're going to tell you about it. And maybe that's why the universe is saying, watch what you say, you know, about taking sides. And maybe someone was done an injustice. You know, and somehow you're going to get dragged into it, okay? Just, you know, giving you a warning because there's the Five of Swords so you can see it. Now, your hopes and fears is the King of Rods. Maybe this is you. Maybe you're afraid, like, you'll, you know, spout off. Maybe you're afraid you'll lose your temper. Maybe you just don't want to get involved and commit to it, you know? So, the King of Rods in reverse while you're there for Sagittarius and the hopes and fears. I need two cards, please two cards and then we'll sum this up and I'll do a love reading or use the love cards uh, just tells me that you're dealing with other people some practical some moving slowly um, also your fears is that maybe you'll be your hopes will things will become more practical that things will calm down and people will start listening and doing what they're supposed to do but you're fearing that it may take a while with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for some of you, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. In the very end, though, you get gain. You get independence. Things calm down. You look happy. So the Nine of Pentacles in the upright for Sagittarius in the very end. Why are you there? Why are you there? Judgment in reverse, Knight of Wands. Okay, so with Sagittarius there, they're gaining. They're gating over a judgment or a decision that they didn't make, that they won't make. And they may move forward pretty quickly in life and, and leave it behind. Whatever this tower moment is, whatever this manipulation is, whatever this um, betrayal type situation, um, I think you just, you know wash your hands of it because the universe is telling you go ahead walk away you don't have to hang around for this but watch what you say because in the end if you watch what you say you come out squeaky clean and gain in this situation so this is the advice for Sagittarius you're going to hear about um, somebody in the outside getting this really heated argument and they're going to try to drag you into it and it's up to Sagittarius some Sagittarius may like you know getting involved in this stuff and some may not. So it's really up to Sag, but in the end, someone's going to say, you decide, do you, do, you, do you believe in me or do you believe in them? And you're going to say, well, I don't know, you know, you, you won't make a decision. This is someone not making a decision. So in the end, I don't think you're going to get involved, even though I'm just giving you a heads up. Someone's going to try to drag you into an argument, you know, and I'm going to do the love reading. You're just, you're, you may block it with the Two of Swords because you want to gain a victory. Like, ah, I ain't touching this. I'm not touching this with a 10-foot pole. Now, I don't know how people want me to do this, and I need to put this in my community section. It's like a pick a pile, pick a card thing. And I'm going to be using this deck for today. But I got other decks for, you know, Oracle cards that could really help. But let's do this one. So I'm going to put two, three different piles. And it may resonate with this reading or it may give me a different reading because I'm asking about a love situation here. So I need a love situation. First pile. So you choose from three different piles. The one that really, you know, draws your attention. You know, think about it. But I need the first pile here. 
for Sagittarius for November. Something to do with love. Anything to do with love, the first pile. Hopefully I got these all in the upright. One, two, three. I need another pile, pile number two. I need three cards. Three cards for Sagittarius, November 2019. Three card love reading. One, two, three. These are little, I gotta put these right side up because I don't like to fan these, shuffle these. Third pile for Sagittarius. Everybody concentrating? Third pile. Pick one for Sagittarius love. November 2019, anything to do with love? Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. It says free yourself from something. Maybe it has something to do with this. Pile number one. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. Give your relationship a trance. You got true love coming in, calling in your soulmate. That's pretty cool. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help you bring you together. So you're, you're supposed to call in your soulmate for November because it may be true love and give the relationship. Whatever is coming in, give it a chance for those who picked number one. Number two, Let's see, someone's got children. Pay attention to the red flags. It's okay to forgive and learn from the situation. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So you experience more love. And you, you got children involved. If some of you, you know, pick this, maybe it has to do with children. But pay attention to the red flags. You know, if you do meet somebody and it's okay to sit there and, and you have an open mind on them or if they're coming towards you, but make sure they are the right person. Because I have a feeling that more than one person is coming into your life in November. I really do. And some of them are going to be good for you and your family and some others are not going to be. So pay attention to the red flags. That's what it's telling you. When new love comes, make sure you get the right person there. It'll be more than one person coming in your life. Mmm. It says love yourself first because there are deceptions there. So be careful deceptions. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship or whatever you're going to be dealing with in November. And it says, the, you know, love yourself first. You know, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. People are more attracted to those that are self-confident. And it says to free yourself. It's time to take back control in your life. You know, take control of your life and love yourself first. Don't, don't fall for deceptions, okay, Sagittarius in November. And I will be doing more readings for Sagittarius. I know I'm dealing with a lot of you here. And sometimes you don't get everybody. But I do see you getting dragged in to a situation that you do not want nothing to do with. And you pretty much put it away from you. And you get you gain the situation at the end by doing this. Okay? So I'm going to let this go. And I will be giving you another reading soon. But this is for Sagittarius. That someone around you or a few people around you are going to get into it. And you're going to have to deal with it too for some reason. Bye.